internet welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is nori and for this video i'm so i'm so excited i can't really even get the words out but i'm gonna try my best i'm unboxing i'm unboxing my sony zv10 i'm unboxing my sony zv10 and my Sony Vlogger Kit. <sighs> let's just get, let's just, let's just, y'all, and this is like a real unboxing. Like, I didn't open it and then put it all back in the box. Like, no, this is like. <sighs> so, my sister, she uh, organized a get together for me with my family. And before the get together, she wrote all of them and was like, we need to pitch in and get nerd camera. So when I got there, she was so excited. She was like so excited. She was like, open it, open it, open the open the bag, open the bag. And I opened it, y'all. And it was this camera. Here's the camera right here. Okay, let's I'm gonna put it down because my hand is shaking. I don't know what to do. Like it came with some stuff. This I think this is the charger. This is the charger that goes inside this is a cord i believe for the charger um i think this is a microphone they call this a dead cat but i don't want to call it that it's like this gray furry piece i'll show y'all in a minute and then this is this feels like a wall piece for the cord that you put into the camera and then this is a, a neck strap or shoulder strap to hold the camera i cannot believe i have a camera oh i like Hmm? Who has a camera? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, so I got this a couple of days ago. Okay, wait. Really quick uh, story time. My sister, they got me the Sony ZV-1. And the Sony ZV-10 is pretty much just like the upgraded version of the Sony ZV-1. Like all the vloggers that I watch, they all had the Sony ZV-1. And eventually, whenever they upgrade for vlogging cameras, you can do more than vlog with this. But that's the vloggers that, like, that's the YouTube videos that I watch. So that I'm just most familiar with that. But what they do is they'll normally upgrade and get the Sony ZV-10. So I was like, why not just, I'm going to just go. And the very next day, I went all the way to New Jersey. Okay, I live in Philly. I went all the way on the bus to New Jersey and got this camera because they were out of stock in Philly. And I cannot believe this is my camera. Like, this is my camera. I'm trying to turn it on. I don't even know what to do. Come on, come on. Okay, so I believe I have to charge it first. So, hold on. Let's undo all the things and so i watched a couple of videos on it i'm a little bit familiar with my hand is shaking so bad with this camera like i feel like i'm holding a baby this is my baby oh my goodness all right so this is the charger battery pack for the camera and this has to go in here i don't think it'll turn on without that and then you lock it and then this is the cord oh my god okay I'm going to plug it in behind me, and then I'm going to come talk to y'all. I, like, y'all, y'all don't even know. I've been sleeping with this. Like, you know how you sleep? You know if you have a baby in the bed, and you put a pillow next to them so they don't fall? I've been sleeping with this camera box in my bed. Like, I cannot believe I have a camera. I'm so blessed, and I'm so grateful and I'm just over the moon and I'm so excited to like get to use it and just I feel a lot of things and I feel like I'm getting emotional about it but I am because I am emotional about it like let's unbox the vlogger kit so I remember telling my boyfriend like the day before we went we came to the day before my get together that I was like, I can't wait for this summer. Like, I'm going to get a camera. Because we had once we went to the mall. We got a couple of piercings. And he got me. We went to the mall. And I was like, trying to vlog this way for YouTube. But then trying to vlog this way for TikTok. 
And I was like, this like drains your, your battery. It's like, it's just so much. I kept getting like storage things from um, Apple. I was like, you know what? Like, I just cannot wait till I get a camera. He was like, you gonna get, he was like, you gonna get that camera. Like you gonna get a camera. And I was like, and I'm definitely going to want to get the tripod too for the camera. Like there's a certain, tri there's a specific tripod for the cameras. This is like the Sony, right? And he was like, oh yeah, like tell me about it. So I'm just telling him about it. And little did I know, he was trying to like scope the scenery out. <laughs> he wanted to know more about it and he ordered it for me. This is the tripod. I think something's missing in here though. Cause this is supposed to come with, for a second I thought that the um, SD card was missing. I thought it would come in here, but it's in here. Okay. So then this is the Sony 64 gigabyte um, SD card. And I have to insert this into the camera. And this obviously is what it records on and stuff. I need some water. Hold on. I have a camera. Like, let me just tell y'all. Am I getting emotional? Bitch, pull it together. While the camera charges, let me just tell y'all. So, if you are new here, first of all, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you um, like my video. And you subscribe and you stick around. Um, but if you are not new here, you probably saw the video that I posted not too long ago where um, my apartment caught on fire. But a couple of months before that, or a couple of weeks, it was right around that time though, I ordered a camera from Best Buy, right? And it Best Buy used, I don't know what type of courier they used, but it was not like FedEx or US, USPS. They, I don't know what type of courier, but it but it was like, like a person in a car. Like they were dropping off Uber Eats or something like that, right? So I got a text message around like 5... 501 really that I had that the package um arrived right and I normally catch the bus home or I'll walk home and if I walk home I'll get home around like 5 45 if I leave work flat at 5 p.m right I got home at like 5 25 I pretty much like ran home as soon as I got home there was no package on the door no package on the door and at the time I was living in center city but packages are left on the doors all the time I get home the package is not there I immediately call uh, Best Buy. I'm like, hey, the package is not here. I'm on the phone with him. There's a thrift store right across from me. There's a restaurant at the corner and then there's a restaurant right across the street at the other corner. I go to all three spots. I'm like, do y'all have cameras that I can check? No, nobody has cameras. I'm still on the phone with the Best Buy guy. I'm walking around to see what's going on. He's like, okay, we're going to send you a replacement camera. I'm still walking around. I'm fuming. I go down the street a little bit. I see the package that it came in. It says Best Buy. It has my name. It has the address. Obviously, the camera's not in there. Opened it. They took it, left the trash right there. Okay, cool. I take a picture of that. I'm still on the phone with the Best Buy guy. This is on a Monday. He's like, we should have a replacement camera out to you by Wednesday. I'm like, okay, perfect. This time, I'm obviously getting it sent to somewhere else. I'm getting it sent to my aunt's this time, but I'm like, okay, cool. Wednesday comes. They're like, okay, there's been a delay in the shipment. I'm not tripping about it because this happened the last time. That it was a delay in the shipment, but it still came a day later or whatever. Uh, okay, cool. Friday comes, this is two days now, that the camera was supposed to be there on, on Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, nothing, I call. They're like, um, yeah, we see your tracking, but uh, we don't know like what's going on with it. Well, if I don't know, but I don't work there, it's your job to know. So let's not, let's not tell somebody we don't know where their stuff is. Or you can give me my money back and I can just go pick it up. The reason why I did not go pick it up though in the first place is because um, they none were like available for pickup. It was quicker, for some odd reason, it was quicker to get it sent to you than it was to get it picked up. Eventually they stopped playing around on the phone and they tell me they're not sending me a new camera because they cannot prove that it got stolen but they have proof of delivery. So the guy just sent the picture, he sent it he took the picture of it being on the steps and he just went about his way, right? When there's a gate that you that says, put the packages over the gate. Nobody jumps over the gate to take packages, but they will catch. If it's sitting on the steps, yeah, they're going to walk past and grab it. And there's no cameras. Like, come on now. 
So this is like, I'm on the phone with Best Buy every other day for hours, hours on the phone with Best Buy, on the phone with the um, delivery company that they use for the drivers or whatever. The delivery company is telling Best Buy, they're going back and forth. The delivery company is telling Best Buy, we have proof of delivery, but she's telling us we did not, she did not get it. So we, um, we are, Best Buy is saying to me, they, that the delivery company has to say that you did not get the package and that's how we can give you your money back. Meanwhile, y'all, this is going back and forth. I'm on the phone with Best Buy. They're telling me, Every time, every new time that I call them to check the status of my refund or new camera, they tell me, we don't have a record of this call. Nobody will give me their name. Some people will give me a reference number. And then when I will talk to a new person, the new person will not have a reference number on file. They don't know that reference number. Um, the one person that did give me their name, I told the person, that person doesn't work here. It was a lot. So it got to the point where I started putting it on three-way with the delivery company telling them, like, I'm not lying to you. I'm really trying to work with Best Buy to get this done. And they're not, they're not doing it. They were keeping better records of the case notes. Everything that the Best Buy people were telling me, the delivery place was keeping notes of. So every time that Best Buy would be like, we don't have record of that case number, the delivery place on the third way would be like, oh, uh, yes, you do. Here's the number, blah, blah, blah. Or yes, we do. This really did happen. Here's the number. Mind you, y'all, this all, I, prob I, I don't even want to think about how long I was on the phone with both places. It would take at least 45 minutes to get somebody on the line from Best Buy, right? And then maybe at minimum two hours to get somebody on the line from the delivery service. So I would have to call them first. And then while I'm waiting to get somebody on the line for them, I would call Best Buy. It was so bad. And I really did not know what to do. And I really wanted my camera. I really wanted my camera. And I was so scared. So I had a uh, place to dispute with PayPal. And they were just taking so long. And I was like, I don't want this to take too long. They were telling me they spoke with Best Buy. There was nothing nobody could do. Okay, cool. I didn't know at the time that I could just go directly to my bank, my, my bank to get this done. Child, I went straight to my bank and let them know this is a dispute. I have recorded um, contacts. Like I have recorded conversations, recorded emails of them saying they were going to send me a new one. I have the package being down the street, everything, right? They eventually give me my money back, then boom, the fire happens at my apartment and it's just not a good time to buy a camera. Like, it's just not a good time to spend that money on a camera. Like, I have to find somewhere to live. I have so much stuff to figure out. Like, it just was not a good time to buy the camera. I did not know that they were behind my back, like, planning to gift me this stuff. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful that I was thought of in that extent and that magnitude that people trusted to put their money together to gift me something. I don't know. I'm I'm just really like, I sleep with this camera next to me. Like, this is my baby. I'm so blessed to have it. I'm so grateful. I watched so many videos. Even like before I got the camera, I would still watch like ZVE10 unboxings. Like, I guess I was like manifesting, I guess. I don't know. Hopping in real quick to let y'all know what kind of lens it comes with. Um, so it has the widescreen standard zoom and then the lens is the epz 16 50 millimeter so i think the part that matters is the 16 to 50 millimeters i don't know if y'all can tell that my hand is shaking i'm just i can't believe i have a camera but yeah there's something on my eye anyway back to the video <laughs> so yeah i'm not gonna cry it i did cry a little bit um when i got home with my camera and like when I wake up and see it and when I'm feeling down and discouraged, like I don't know what to, what to film. Or I don't know if anybody's watching. I don't know. But I can't really doubt myself anymore. Like I, it's irresponsible on my end. Okay. Like <laughs> what the hell are you doubting yourself for? I don't know. But I got a couple of, of accessories for it as well. Um, So I got a tall tripod. I guess this is for when I'm like filming sit down content with the camera. I said I guess. I don't know. All the girls on YouTube that have the Sony ZV10, Sony ZV-E10 that I watch, I just went to their Amazon storefronts and just looked at like their electronic things that they have for it. This is a box camera light. Um, it can go on top of the camera. This is for my laptop for the SD card and whatnot. And then this, care if you're watching this, I got my case. 
this is just the case for it. All right, I'm gonna go get the camera. Let's see if it's charged. Oh my God. All right, Um. so how do I turn it on? So here's the switch right here, it says on. Okay, um, it's telling me to click English. Oh my God, oh my God. I have a camera. Why is the screen black? Can y'all see the screen? Oh, oh, it's cause of this. Okay, I'm gonna take this part off. Oh. How do I get it to look at me? I have a camera. Okay, wait. Um Okay, let me not do that too much cuz I feel like that's very easy to break. All right. Oh, what the card is oh, wrong with the Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let's put the accessories on it. I have a camera. This is my camera. Wow. Okay. Now I see why. I see why they recommend um, this too. It's way easier to like hold and stuff. Oh, okay. I got it to work, y'all. I'll, I'll put it on. All right. So let's try this again. Let's turn. What are we going to name her? Preparing image database. Wait, let me show y'all this stuff. See? Okay, wait, I need to flip it to me, y'all. I need to see what's going on. Oh, my God. Wait, so how do I know, like, am I filming? Yeah, definitely need to learn how to work it. Ooh. It says I'm recording. Wait, hold on. <gasps> Wait, y'all, it says I'm recording. Wait. Oh my God, I have a camera. Wait. Oh my God, I have a camera. Wait, okay, this is a lens. I can't wait to learn. Like, I don't know what I look, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Wait, I guess I'm done recording. I don't know. I need to figure this stuff out, but I think I'm going to name this camera Walter White. If you know, you know. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave some. I'm ready to hit the ground running, okay? Uh, if you have any, like, video ideas that you would like for me to do, or if you just have anything to say, any tips, please, some tips, please, obviously, uh, let me know. Thank y'all so much for uh, being here with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. Yes, to like, subscribe. And um, just let me know what y'all think. I'm just so excited. And I hope you have a blessed day. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Be safe. And don't forget to wear your sunscreen and your mask. Wear your mask. Bye. Recording. Oh, shoot. I got this thing on. I'm like, well, I can't see nothing. Hey, y'all.